Hey guys, welcome to Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now this week I'll be teaching you something that a lot of you have been asking for, motion graphics. Now let's start with the first one and that's a cool lower third. Now let's open up Premiere Pro. Wow, don't you just love the look of that program? Now let's make a sequence and add a graphic layer. The shortcut for this is Ctrl T. Then we're going to open up the Essential Graphics panel, which you can find in the Window menu, and then Essential Graphics. Select your text layer and change the scale, position, alignment, and color to whatever you want. Now this is completely customizable to your likings. And since I want to make this lower third, I need to position it correctly, but how do I know where that is? Well, right click on your program monitor and select Safe Margins, or activate this button right here. If you don't see this button, then click on the plus icon and drag it to the program monitor. Once we see our safe margins, we can position the text layer. For lower thirds, we want the position to be within the middle rectangle, and I'm going to place mine in the bottom left corner of this rectangle. Once that's done, we go back to the Essential Graphics panel and from the Edit menu, we're going to create a new layer, a rectangle. Now place this below your text layer. Now as you see, these are called layers and they work the same as tracks in the timeline or layers in Photoshop. This means that the one on top will always be shown above the other one. Okay, so change your rectangle so that it's a bit higher and wider than your text and change the color to whatever you want. I'm going for a dark gray color. Then I'm going to add one more rectangle layer, but I'm actually just going to copy and paste my existing rectangle and just change the name of it by right clicking on it and selecting rename. Okay, I'm positioning this layer above the first rectangle and change the color to something bright. I see you thinking, Jill, what are we doing? It looks so simplistic. That's true but we haven't started animating it yet. So let's go and do that. Now first we're going to animate the text coming on screen. So let's head to the effects panel and look for the transform effect. I'll drag this onto my graphics layer. Now from the effects control panel, I'm first going to disable the composition shutter checkbox and set a custom shutter angle of 180. This will create motion blur. So place a keyframe of the position property and place it a couple of frames into the video. Then head to the beginning of the clip and change the position value so that it appears off screen. If we now play this, the lower third will fly on screen. Okay, now let's animate the background rectangles. From the effects panel, look for the crop effect and drag it onto the clip. We're going to drag that underneath the text layer because we don't want it to affect the text layer itself, only the rectangles. Now animate it from the right side, going from 100% to right next to the end of the rectangle. Now why don't we go to zero? Well, that's the end of the screen and that's not needed. But how can we see that it's right next to the rectangle? Well, just click on the crop effect itself and then it'll show you the bounding boxes and that's way easier. Okay, next we're going to add another crop effect, drag that above our second shape and select both the crop effect and that rectangle and right click on them. Then select create group. Now this crop effect will be applied only to that rectangle. So let's go back to the effects controls and we're going to create a crop animation, but this time with the top property. Now once again, the first property should be right above the rectangle and then we go a bit forward in time and change the property to 100%. Okay, now let's play this already. Woo! -hoo! Looks super good, but we still need a way to end it and let it go off screen. So let's head back to the top crop effect the one underneath the text layer that is, and we will first copy the second keyframe and paste it somewhere near the end, and then we can copy the first keyframe and place it exactly at the end. Now the only thing that we need to do is ease all of the keyframes, and then we get this result. Let's do a second effect. Do you know how to make this? Well then let me show you. Step one, Ctrl T to create a new text layer. Just like before, we use the Essential Graphics panel to create a custom look for the text that we like. Then we head over to the step number two, which is going to this icon right here, and this is the new layer icon. Click on it and select from file. Now look for a photo or video on your PC and select it. Then we place the text layer above the video layer, click on the text layer and scroll down and select mask with text. And this will use the text layer as a mask. So the text will be filled with the video. Now, of course, you can also invert this. That way your text will be used as a mask in that video layer. Ta-da! Awesome, right? 
Now, of course, you can make thousands of different kinds of lower thirds and titles this way. So get creative and play around with different effects. I'll see you guys next week for a new tutorial and a new live stream. And as always, stay creative. <laughs>